Hey guys, so one of the reasons that we don't hear God's voice and we don't know what to follow is because we're so opinionated. There was a great revivalist that once said that if you want to pray in faith and you want to hear God's voice and you want to live in faith and in power, then what you need to do is you need to cleanse yourself of your opinions. See, the reason is um, in Proverbs it says, uh, acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make your path straight. See, a lot of times we just like to take our own opinions and we like to shape what it is. And we tell ourselves, we're like, you know, God God wouldn't say that to us. You know, that's that. all of a sudden, all these extra things, these things that God could be saying, we rule out because our opinions already say that that cannot be right. And since our opinions are, you know, like what we base everything off of, then all of a sudden we, mm, we don't hear the God, voice of God. So we limit ourselves sometimes because we have strong opinions. Now, I'm not going to tell you that having an opinion is wrong, but having an opinion that you know, gets in the way of you hearing God, that's not a great opinion. And so we have to work to cleanse ourselves of our own opinions if you want to hear the voice of God. Now, is God's opinion, if, is this thing going to change every single thing about you? Maybe. Are you open to that? See, because the thing is, whenever we cleanse ourselves of our own opinion and open ourselves up to God can tell us anything that he wants to tell us and we are open to all the possibilities, then all of a sudden the world opens up to us and God can share with us the deep things that no one knows, the things that, you know, whenever you look at scripture and you, you wonder, man, how did pastor get those awesome revelations? How did you, you know, how did these people, you know, like great revivalists, how did they do it? And it's because mm, their time with the Lord is so much more productive whenever they don't spend all their time neglecting the thing that God's saying because they have such strong opinions about what God should say. So, so how do we do that? We ask God, help me cleanse myself of my opinions and that get in the way of your voice. That's it. So, thanks for taking a minute.